Here we have Range Rover Discovery OV14GOC, two keys. Let's see how it starts. Hundred fifty six thousand six hundred sixty nine miles. Let's turn this off, music. So it starts good. Sounds good. Give it a rev. Tire, what was that then? Tire pressure monitoring set for light load. And there's a sort of eco sign on. I'm gonna assume the minor warnings. Uh, right, I'll hook my phone up and then we'll go for a test drive. That's it, successful test drive. I'll park up now and I'll take you around the exterior and the interior. Okay, just to recap, the miles is 156,671,000 miles. You have that eco sign on with a sort of like circle around it. Uh, the sat nav is in good working order. Reverse camera is in good working order. If we go into the glove box, this is your butt pack. Now you've got your manual here uh, and a few other books, but unfortunately there's no service book there. Um, we have the online service history on our system and I think there's four services with it. So I'll attach that in the photos of this advert. Uh, so yeah, four services. The interior is very clean overall. Nice cream leather. You have the odd like sort of like wear or cracks in the seat. Very minor, you can barely tell. Uh, but overall clean. I think the guy that parks it in has just had it valid because they have these paper, mat, paper mats in. 
Um, so going into the back, and as you can see, very clean on the footwell there. Leather seats all in good condition. Sunroofs. Boot opens good. Nice little rubber mat there for your boot. Obviously you've got the seven seats. Um, can't see a parcel shelf in here. Um, I'll just stop this video now and have a little look underneath here. See if there's any knocking around, but I assume there's no parcel shelf. So I've put the seats up in the back and they're in good condition as well, but there's no sign of that parcel shelf. Uh, so I'll put these back down, then we'll move on. Okay, so I'll give you a quick once round of this, just to show you what it's like in general. It's pretty clean overall. Please just bear in mind that the leaves are starting to fall now. And once this is parked up, um, obviously we're next to woodland here. It might be a bit covered in leaves if you do buy it and collect it. So please bear that in mind. Right, I'll go around all the damage out. So you have a tiny white mark on this pillar. It's something or nothing, you should just touch in. And you've got a little tiny scratch on the driver's wing mirror there. Front driver's right wheel arch is a bit stone chippy, as you can see. You've got a couple of tiny stone chips, something or nothing on the bonnet, so small. Some tiny white marks on the front left. I think they'll just buff out, but fair enough, it's not broke the paint. I think you'll buff them out, very minor. You've got a tiny bit of lacquer off on the passenger wing mirror, very minor again. You've got a tiny bit of lacquer off on the passenger front door, as you can see. You've got a bit of lacquer off on the passenger back door, there and there, and a tiny scratch slightly above it, there. You got a bit of lacquer off on like the, um, I don't know what's, like it, well it's the back left door, but it's sort of like over the wheel arch as well. It's there. And then right next to it on the wheel arch, some lacquer off there too. And a tiny scratch next to it. Tiny scratch, lacquer. Now for the actual body itself, that's pretty much it. But I did see this on the driver's door, on the lever as you open up. It's like chipped and like scratched and stuff. That's on the lever itself. Front right alloy needs a refurb, mainly because of that in the centre. Front uh, right tyre is probably about two millimetres. Front left alloy needs a refurb, quite obvious. That tyre's more like bald, it's like one mil. Back left tyre, Sorry, alloy, needs a refurb. And the back left tire is like three mil. Back right alloy needs a refurb and the back right tire is like four mil. Electric seats work. So I try that as well. And then the other way. This is the passenger side. And then that way, and then forward. That's that. And then finally, the sunroof works in the front. And we'll put it back. And that's it. So now I'll take a lot of photos so you can look through them as well. I'll explain everything in the description as well. So you're given the best opportunity to bid as much as you can for this car. Thank you.